A great way to select your colors in Photoshop is by using the Color Picker dialog box. If you go down near the bottom of your toolbox in Photoshop, you'll see that you have two colors here. You're the top one being your foreground color and the bottom one being your background color. Go ahead and double click on the one that you want to change and you're going to get your color picker dialog box. The first thing I like to do is to go over to the color slider and adjust the slider to get the shade that I want. Um, and I am looking for a, let's look for an orange color right here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down here. Now I can go over to my color field and I can go ahead and I can click to find exactly the shade that I want. And you can see over here in my preview, this is the current color that I have set as my foreground, and this is the new color that I'm selecting, and this changes as I go along and I select these. Now I could also change the numeric values of to get the exact color that I want. HSB stands for hue, saturation, and brightness, so you can increase or decrease those to vary the amounts of those. You have RGB, which is your red, green, and blue, the, and those are just the amount of colors that's in the color that you've chosen, chosen. So you can see I have a lot of red in here, some green, and very little blue, and I could change this. I could increase it if I wanted, and that's gonna change the shade just a little bit. I have my lab over here and this is for lightness, for your red green access, and for your blue yellow access. You also have down here, you have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black colors. So you can change all of those to get the exact color that you want. You also have the option down here of entering your hex hexadecimal value. Um, and you could go ahead and put that in if you know what you want. Go ahead and click OK. And then you can see here that you've changed your foreground color. You can go ahead and you can do the same thing to the background color if you'd like. Go ahead and click OK. And now you have both your foreground and your background colors set. So when you go and you add your next component into Photoshop, it's going to go ahead and use these colors.